about one page, uh, but it's a useful page. This is going to be about the trends in the charges of ions. And again, anything you can remember by looking at the periodic table is a good way to remember it. So um, if we look at this column right over here, this is going to be your plus one column. And I can't remember. Uh, this periodic table actually doesn't have it on it. It has some other things on it. But you can write right on your periodic table, plus one above this column. All of these will form plus one ions. Here's plus two for this column. Then um, skip this, well, let's say this. Uh, this middle section here uh, is, does, there's no rules. Let's say that. We're looking, talking about trends here. Uh, this one, well, really, it's the three, and you can see this is one and two. That's the name of the column, and they're plus one and plus two. This one is 13, and aluminum, you will see, will be a plus three ion. So over here, we will have no ions. Here in group 17, we will have minus one ions minus two and minus three. Although we'll talk about this line later in this lecture outline and we'll see that it's only these elements above this zigzag line, not even the sh partially shaded ones that do this. So minus one will be fluorine, chlorine, bromine, and iodine that we will see in this course. Oxide and sulfide, oxygen and sulfur, Nitrogen and phosphorus we'll see as minus three occasionally. And again, there are no trends in here. Um, we will have to just plain memorize those, but we will have a periodic table. We'll be able to look at it and uh, know the trends for uh, these columns right here.